Hey, good morning my fellow light explorers. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm at the gorgeous Yosemite National Park to try and photograph the firefall. So stick around and hopefully I get a good photograph of the firefall. The conditions are just right today. It's uh, nice and clear. The waterfall is flowing. So let's see what we get in the evening. So every year in the month of uh, February, the sun's angle is such that it lights up or backlights this little tiny waterfall uh, on El Capitan called Hostel Fall during sunset. And it's absolutely spectacular. So this event actually happens twice a year in October and in Feb, but in October, the fall is dry, so you don't see anything at all. But even in uh, February, certain conditions have to be met to see this uh, firefall, if you will. So essentially, you have to have enough snow uh, above uh, El Capitan. It has to be warm enough for the snow to have melted and for the waterfall to flow. And uh, finally, the most important, the setting sun cannot be obscured by clouds. Otherwise, the sunlight will not fall on the waterfall and uh, light this up. But uh, when those three conditions are met, oh boy, it's a treat. I've been here to witness this around four or five times since 2010, but I haven't uh, been back here since uh, 2016. And it's gotten really crazy now. Lots of uh, people, and now they have a day use permit system whereby you can't enter Yosemite during these uh, 14, 15 days without having a permit, which sell out really fast online. So I've been lucky to get a permit for this year. And I came in early this morning to park my car and just walk around, you know, take some photos and then head towards uh, a cool vantage point to photograph this firefall. So yeah, I'm excited, man. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, get to see it. It's uh, a beautiful day. The conditions are right. The waterfall is flowing. And so far it's a clear sky, but who knows? It's Yosemite. Things can change uh, really fast here. So, let me walk you through a few locations here and uh, just chat with you guys, show you around. And uh, hopefully we get the firefall in the evening. So speaking of locations, check this out guys, amazing. How pretty is that, right? So that's El Capitan right there. And that right there is Hostel Fall. You can barely see it. It's like a small little speck coming down. It's pretty incredible. It is flowing and it's flowing pretty well. But if you look at it right now, you'll be like, oh, well, how can this turn into a spectacular firefall? Well, you'll see in the evening. If conditions are right, you're gonna see. But I love this uh, reflection right here. So I'll set up my tripod and my camera and take some shots here. And then we'll uh, proceed further. Okay guys, let's check out Upper Yosemite Falls. Apparently it is flowing and uh, there are some beautiful reflections just beneath this bridge. So let's check that out. See how pretty it is. really 
pretty. Let's get a good view. Looks great. I think what I'll do is I'll go down where these guys are, but a little further up and uh, try and uh, get a ultra wide of uh, the falls, um, keeping my tripod low. So, yeah, I'm surprised it's flowing uh, and there's uh, so much water. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see kind of compositions we can get here. Pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is maybe set up my tripod at this level and then take uh, square format image with my 1424 try and get the reflections really cool that was pretty cool the reflections were stunning I'm heading towards uh, that little uh, shopping uh, and food area, the food court or whatever towards the lodge to get some uh, thing to drink and then resume my walk. But uh, yeah, I actually have been to the Firefall to photograph it in 2011, 12 and then 16 and I haven't been back since because of the crowds. And But this year is uh, nice because uh, they have a day use permit so they are limiting access but even then there are plenty of people and then last year i was planning on coming too but um the waterfall was not flowing so this year worked out well absolutely gorgeous day in yosemite can't wait till the uh, the evening for the firefall now It's that direction, the uh, El Capitan, and the normal, um, the normal viewing area is uh, about two miles south of uh, the lodge. Sorry, two miles west of the lodge, but. Uh, I'm planning on going somewhere up in the cliffs near Four Mile Drive at a higher elevation. So what's happened is they've actually changed the uh, viewing locations. They used to have uh, two locations, the north side drive and the south side drive. The north side drive loca location is a little um, limited because you're looking right up at uh, El uh, Capitan and Hostel Fall. But uh, south side was awesome because you were further away and you'd get this nice little shot of trees and the fall. But uh, in 2016 or so, there's so many people came over that the river bank actually collapsed. Very sad. So they've cordoned off the area completely since then and they only open north side drive. But you are allowed to go uh, on the other side of Southside uh, uh, Drive, that is south of Southside Drive. You can't go towards the river between the hours of 12 noon and 7 p.m., which is when people come in for the firefall. So I'm planning on going up, climbing up, uh, scrambling up somewhere, and hopefully I find a nice uh, vantage point to try and get uh, a wide view of uh, of the falls but yeah it's uh, just walking around right now is just beautiful this 
The weather is great. It's like in the 40s right now. Should be in the 50s uh, shortly. And uh, few people, but uh, there's still uh, solitude. Oh, guess what, guys? There is half dome right there. So cool. Okay, I'm gonna head towards uh, that uh, food court or shop, so I'm not sure what exactly it is, but try and get uh, a sandwich I haven't eaten and maybe a drink and stock up maybe with uh, a little coffee and a Coke and maybe some uh, cookies for when I get uh, to my location where I intend to uh, shoot this uh, horsetail fall today. So not many people realize this but Yosemite gets uh, flooded sometimes and check this out. Look at this, the level, the flood water level. Um, on, uh, in 1997 at 11 p.m. was all the way up there. It's at least seven feet uh, from the snow surface. How crazy is that? So the entire thing was covered with water. Insane. All right, guys, so I made it to that point. It was a crazy 500 feet scramble up the cliffside over ice and rock and uh, I had crampons and I had to buy a hiking pole from the gift shop, but uh, it turned out okay. It was uh, pretty sketchy, I would say. There was a couple behind me, a young couple that uh, turned around. They didn't want to risk it, but uh, I made it up here and check out the view. It is just stunning. Uh, not too bad, huh? not too shabby. So that's horsetail fall right there. You see that uh, lit up portion? The right side at the edge is horsetail fall. So you can't see it right now, but eventually at sunset, when the magic happens around five ish, uh, you will start seeing the waterfall. So, it's around 2.30, I have three hours to kill, so I'm going to try and relax and just, uh, you know, meditate and maybe uh, eat something, snack on something and enjoy the view. And uh, I'll catch up with you at uh, 5 o'clock. See ya! Alright guys, it's around uh, 45 minutes ago before sunset. Check this out. The light is gonna get narrower and narrower until it's focused just on the falls. It's getting there. Oh my god, I'm back in the car. It was crazy coming down. 
But uh, what a day, man. What a day. Beautiful light on Hostel Fall. I spent two days out here. So what I'll do is I'll post two time lapses of uh, the sunset over Hostel Fall and then some photographs. But uh, if you get a chance to come and see this live, do so. It is really worth it. But uh, I'm going to head off home now, have uh, dinner. And until next time, this is Light Explorer signing out for beautiful Yosemite National Park.